We were warned in advance that there might be a clamp down on freedom of information in Tehran and that information won't be able to get out. I know that you've been monitoring blog sites, websites, trying to see what information did get out. Has there been a significant clamping down? There has been a significant clamping down, uh, especially in the last 10 days, the Fajr period. Um, when I managed to speak to people in Iran, uh, they were telling me the speed of internet is 48 kilobytes per second, which is even less than a dial-up modem. Um, most people could only just get onto Facebook if they had filter busters, and even then they could only do some uh, uh, limited uh, chats. They couldn't actually uh, see the posts that other people had put up. and press on the uh, uh, links to go to actually see the whole content of the post, uh, etc. So it was very, very difficult. But um, despite all that, Felicity, it's absolutely amazing that we still managed to get footage out. We still managed to get information out. Um, the one thing that I did notice, though, most of the footage that's come out today has been uh, under two minutes. And I think that has been because of the uh, uh, slow speed of the Internet. Uh, uh, people couldn't use Gmail at all. Um, Yahoo they couldn't use uh, either um, and I think in the next few days maybe we will get more footage. It's difficult isn't it to know then how big the protests were but from what we've seen so far they're nothing like as big as the ones that followed the presidential election last year. Well, the, the uh, repression has been a lot harder as well. I mean, the, 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 uh, uh, we've had two executions uh, to, to warn the protesters. We've had uh, at least a thousand uh, green sympathizers arrested. Uh, uh, we've had the uh, promise of more uh, execution sentences. At least uh, nine or ten uh, more people have been uh, uh, um, sentenced to execution. Uh, we, we had uh, severe warnings uh, from just about all the uh, uh, elite uh, rulers of the uh, uh, Islamic Republic. Uh, and despite this, credit to the people of Iran, and I feel, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I, can, I can sit here and say very proudly uh, that, you know, uh, my compatriots have shown so much courage to come out on the streets again. The picture that I'm getting from Iran, however, is that the, the, uh, the, the protests were uh, 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 dispersed. However, they were continuous. In other words, every time the security forces managed to disperse people, the people managed to get back. And it, this went until 7 o'clock London time. I was speaking to Iran, and there were still clashes in Iran. And uh, during some of the periods, some of these districts were completely in the, control, in the, in the hands of the people. Um, so it was a very long, ongoing battle. I just wonder whether they might have been a little bit more muted, simply because it was... A a celebration day, if you like, of the Islamic Revolution. And there are many people in Iran, of course, who are, who were in favor of the Islamic Revolution. They might be opposed to Ahmadinejad, but they feel that their country went in the right way when there was the Islamic Revolution. Is there a sense of that, that perhaps a celebration day is not actually a day of protest? I think Mousavi described this best in his last statement, uh, saying that the revolution hasn't stopped 31 years ago because despotism hasn't stopped. Uh, you know, we didn't get a more just uh, uh, system. Uh, we still have to fight for freedom. So what happened 31 years ago and the ideals that people were fighting for 31 years ago still continues. But I tell you what was muted, the celebration, uh, the, the pro-government celebration was muted. If you look at the uh, state footage, you only saw two uh, film footage of the crowds with close shots. There was no aerial uh, uh, overshot to see really how, uh, what the extent of the, the pro-government uh, rallies were usually there were marches from one location to another this time it seemed that they just managed to to get the pro-government supporters in one place uh, and uh, just just a, a couple of close shots and there was one image that I kept seeing on the uh, Iranian state TV which was absolutely no doubt in my view that it was photoshopped really I mean I have to say we, we, we can't carry on but I do have to say obviously our reporters are out on, on the streets of, of but Iran under and restrictions. They, they are under restrictions but they obviously were filming photo, uh, pictures of, of what they described as hundreds of thousands of people on the streets, but you know. <laughs> even, even if they managed to get 200,000 people yeah. on the streets, I mean, you know, it, it's 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 nothing. This is the biggest day in their calendar. Sure. This should have been a much much uh, a bigger celebration, and it was very very muted. It might not have been a final victory for the green movement, but it was a big defeat for the government. Okay, Potkin Azamir, good to get your thoughts. Many thanks. Thank you.